Hi guys, we are here with Miss Universe Argentina. Can you please um, describe yourself and tell us something about you? Hello guys, I'm so happy to greet you all. I am Magali Benajam, I am Miss Universe Argentina. I'm a very passionate girl. I was born in difficult circumstances, but all of them brought me to this place that I choose to be happy. I choose my reality by taking action on a daily basis, small or big steps that will lead me to the place that I want to be. That's good. Uh, she's actually here in Spain to judge for Mr. R&B um, España 2024. So how's your preparation for Mexico? Well, my preparation started the day that I was crowned. I've done all sorts of different types of classes. I've done passerella, I've done speak, I've done makeup and I've done uh, styling because I need to learn my high points and my low points to be able to use them as a strategy. That's true and you have to do it by yourself when you're there. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, you are your own support system. Uh, yeah, and I prefer that because I rely on myself so much. That's good, at least you're independent. Okay, and uh, what do you think is your edge from the other candidates? What is special about you? I know my point of view in life, it's different. My type of, uh, my way of seeing life uh -huh. gives an extra point because I know I have a different opinion from the rest of the world and I love sharing it. That's nice. And um, who do you want to be with your roommate? Because there's a lot of candidates. Have you known somebody? I have one girl that is actually a close friend of mine. Oh, who is she? She is Petra Sivakova. She is Miss Slovakia. I wow. love her with all my life and we shared the room before, so I know ah, that so it will be... you've competed before. We didn't compete before, but we shared a room in our modeling agency. Ah, okay. Yes. That's nice. But for me, I'm open to get to know anyone and I will be super happy to, to know new girls and to meet also to my friends. With regards to your pageant background, were you able to compete before or directly to Miss no, Universe? No, my first uh, pageant was Miss Universe, uh, in which I decided to enter because I was in the modeling industry. Mm -hmm. But I knew that the only way to make a change in the fashion industry and the modeling industry would be taking the advantage of the platform that Miss Universe and the beauty pageants give you. Because the fans of the beauty pageants extend mm -hmm this um, interest in many senses and I think it's very useful for us. What do you think is your strategy considering that this is the biggest Miss Universe? As I've heard it's 126 candidates so it's like a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot and the competence I know is going to be tough but I think my flex is the surprise factor. Oh, that's nice. Exactly. And you will just surprise them there. Yes, I've, do, I've been doing that since I've been crowned because many things that I've done were not expected by me. Mm -hmm. And I know that the things that I'm bringing to competence, um, like my strategy and the ways that I'm going to approach to the Mexican culture are very unique. Okay. So this year's um, way of finding the new Miss Universe will be top 30 and um, how can you make sure that you can be part of the first cut? I'm going to give my all since day one when I True. go to um, concentration, but I'm very focused in my preliminary night. I know I'm going to be mm -hmm. super happy when I do my bikini uh, runway. Passarella, yes. Passarella, because I feel super confident doing that, and I know that's my strong point. And I'm also very pleased about my gala uh -huh. for a preliminary. I know it's going to have a lot of attention. Yeah, your gown, for sure. It's going to be nice. Okay, thank you so much. That's all for now. See you Thanks in Mexico. You.